Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adinho here and welcome to a new video. We're going to be playing this Galay team again. Um, um, up till now, only lost one game uh, in a bit of an unfortunate one. But uh, the other games went pretty smoothly, I gotta say. Pretty fun team to play as well. And if you are interested in checking out this team, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a poker based plus team building video on this team. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as I'm on my way to three uh, 4.3k subscribers um want to hit 4.5k before the end of the summer hope we can do it um yeah i got my boy lazarus with me today as well he's gonna enjoy the ride here and see how i click buttons with glade uh, what do you think about that one uh, lazarus i mean it sounds like it sounds like what everyone that's been using Galade has been doing just like yeah. They upgrade in the team, they start to click buttons and hope that it carries yeah, them. Yeah, this game too, I'm just gonna spam the Psycho cut soon. Don't know if Sacred Sword it could be an option. Gotta be a bit afraid of, a uh, bit wary about the Volcarona, because I don't really beat it. <laughs> My team doesn't really beat it. I have Toxic on Garchomp, so I guess I have to commit him for... Wait, he's not using a Garchomp himself. That Mamoswine is pretty annoying for me. Uh, maybe maybe we just start off with Kaleid uh, if he wants to be that guy and uh, and um, get uh, start off with the Mammoth Swine. Or we're doing the Scissor one, which is not bad either, actually. I think Scissor is fine. 600k, yeah. So it is, it is this lead because this has to be the... Um, This has to be um, um, let's focus ash. I can I easily it, bullet there. Yeah. Can you? He could also too, he but... could also close combat in case he he tries to go something else. The issue is the speed the death drop might be a bit tricky if he yeah. Um, but him leading off with this kind of screams to me that this is going to be uh, focus ash. Um, I'm 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 a bit worried about the Volcarona, but if I bullet, if I basically eliminate this, so what I could do here, for example, is maybe U-turn, and is, is U-turn gonna put him in range of pursuit? You're gonna take Rock's chip though. Yeah, and I, I know I'm gonna take Rock's chip, but if I remove this and defog, then I can get up my rocks and because uh, if I wanted, if I defog. Um, if I get up, if I want to get up rocks, I want to make sure this thing dies first. Yeah, I I agree. Also, it's gonna put a lot of pressure on starting me. It's gonna do like sixty five percent, a bit more maybe. And if if we use, and if I if we up with pursuits, how much is that gonna do? Thirty, yeah, yeah. So there's a poss high possibility of him dying. Then if I go weave on pursuit on an, on a play, because I I'm gonna have to deal with the Volcarona eventually. So but if I have Garchomp at full HP, I might be able to toxic him. Um. So I think this is gonna be the play. He does swap out here. Well, this is gonna do a lot though. Still, even if you get the flame body on me, bro. Fifty one. Oh, wow, that's a crit. Nah, that's not a crit. <laughs> Oh, that's just offensive Volcarona. Okay. That feels like a bulky Volcarona as well, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. You think so? It's, a, it's only one time resisted. Yeah, it's, but it still has damage. Let's see... Guess not. Offensive then. Um, so, well, if I get Garchomp in now, like Earthquake... It's gonna do a bunch, right? Yeah, for sure. If if I do that, if I do that much, then I'm pretty sure Earthquake is gonna do quite a bit too. So we can we can slide in in his DMs with our boy Garchomp, and I think I just EQ here. We're not playing around this threat. This was the thing I was most worried about, and we got rid of him, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, especially if it was covered in his HP ice. So he actually goes into this. Do you think Toxic King this is worth it? Or do we just go straight not, into Mandy? It's uh, not and, and to it KOM. 
I think it's better to go into this and just go for the two with KL if he dragon dances. Yeah, because if he's long, he's gonna be really bad for us. Oh, that's dragon jam. Oh, that, it's a wait, that's a crit. Never mind. That's stupid, bro. But I think bullet punch should knock him out there. Um, is it bad if I lose this? Gonna lose something regardless. He should click fire punch here too. That's an annoying crit. But I think I need to push him out here with my scissor. Even if his scissor comes in. That's a really annoying crit, man. <laughs> like with the leftovers, I wouldn't get to it KO, but now it's just in a really annoying position because do I predict him switching out here into his own scissor? Or do I predict him staying in? Because if he stays in and clicks fire punch, I die. It's just, it's so stupid. Yeah, he does stay in. Why did he extreme speed though? Was he really did he really want to sec this? I guess he might have thought you were you are oh, I got I got rid of his two big sweepers. And if Mammoth Swine gets up rocks now, there's nothing really weak to rocks on my team. Okay, so I have to go directly into this and figure out if this is Choice Bandit. Because if it is Choice Bandit, my guy can take care of it. He isn't. So basically what I can do is click this. Just don't crit me. Yeah, now let's see if he's I forbidden. Don't, don't crit me. <laughs> okay. So he goes star me, uh, which is something, I guess. He was scouting there. Let's see if he's leftovers. It's not leftovers. Interesting. Okay. Could be, could be life far below. Um, one thing I'm a bit worried about is um, if I lose Jellicent, I'm not sure how weak I'm going to be to the Mammoth Swine run. You could YOLO Galade. But if this dies, I get to spam Sacred Sword, right? I get yeah, spam could. Sacred Sword. Maybe I can actually go... <laughs> Maybe I can go, go directly into Galade here. Like Weavile too, because Weavile takes... Probably takes... Yeah, but... Uh, a Surf from Fool, and then... Yeah, takes... but the thing is, if, if he's Life Orb with Analytic, I feel a bit scared, man, uh, bringing in Weavile on that. That's fair. And Galade probably takes it better. Um, I, 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 can, I can actually still make this play, because I can always bullet punch him. Galate can stay in versus him, I guess. That's because I, I definitely need guard jump versus the scissor and the bloom, especially because we saw. Okay, that's is it, what is this? Expert belt, life orb. Yeah, that's life orb analytic. Sure. I feel like life orb analytic does more. So. However, he's gonna die uh, to, if he knocks me out, and then I think I'm gonna pursue trap. Then we're gonna look for a sacred sword endgame, but getting up rocks, I think. Since it's um, since it's this specific scissor set, um, there's no pursuit I have to worry about with Glade. But this is the only thing we need to kill. Um, what I am worried about is him having the um, him doing something with the balloon. Yeah. I think this is just natural cure with life orb. So basically, I'll go this, and I think if I get up for rocks, that's gonna be my end game. But I need to get up for rocks against something I can click rocks again, against. But Berloom and Mamoswine can be both on a sash. It just is it puts it put me in such an awkward position when he crit me with his dragon eye. That really put me into an awkward position. The odds of him clicking Mog Punch here when I have Guard Chomp. Gonna be low. Maybe he's afraid because he knows I'm locked into pursuit. 
Yeah, he didn't click Mark Punch. As he clicks Spore. That's really good for us. Okay, so... Do I let... I think I... Do I let this die? I mean, it doesn't really do much against Caesar. Yeah, yeah right? It's, it's all right against Mama's fine. But he just let it die. If he's if he's as what is what if he's SD right sport SD with Mark Punch? You could go Galade and like, but here's the thing: if he bullets it, Galade. Nah, I, I feel like Galade well. actually kind of wins. So what I maybe what I can do here instead. I think Garchomp is the best window nah, because if he. If I he I, I, I feel Garchomp because um, if he isn't Sword Stance, I get up my Stealth Rock versus him, right, and then. We're gonna end game with okay, because by clicking rocks here, then I don't know if we can go for rocks actually, because we already damaged this. I think you always go for flamethrower, even if he goes mammoth swine, he's still gonna do chip. Because I bullet punch the other guy, and scissor cannot knock me out on. With an unboosted attack. So basically, Mammoth Swine coming in here. I mean, he get boost with Mammoth Swine. You might, you might as well cycle with Vile here. Yeah, but if I if I if I go with Vile, then I give a free opportunity of, of Sword Dance, basically. So I feel. Um, let me, let me just stay here. You can go Galade, yeah. He must be Sash. Oh my god. That's so much, I know. Mimis one is so... Yeah, I think I lost. I wasn't sure. I think I played the Berloom situation wrong. I'm gonna be dealing with a full HP scissor here. I think I played the Berloom situation wrong. I think I should have just let my Weevil die onto him. I think that was the better play. I couldn't really tell if he wasn't uh, uh, charging or not. Yeah. I don't know, it's maybe this guy. Nah. It's definitely yeah, close combat. You, you can go. You can go with Vio and hope he close combats here. And then you try to get a crit with bullet punch. Ah, crit is not gonna be enough. But I'm pretty sure I died to close commit. We'll see here. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I died to close commit. But yeah. Close one. Close one. Yeah. Like I said, I I felt like I needed the guard jump, but then again, um, if the the, the, die so early. the the many bus dying to the dragon knight like that, because it forced me into an awkward position where I needed to knock him out with scissor. Yeah. That's Instead, if if my many bus killed him and while being low, I would have been able to still U turn or get a free swap there. Like if I had the extra second to many bus in that situation, it would have been much better. Definitely, definitely would make the Brello more manageable too with overcoat. But then knows, maybe maybe I should have gone for the rocks play with the guard jump on the on the Brillum. like getting up rocks, break the sash of Memo as well, right, and then s start spamming Sacred Sword. But yeah, the, the priority moves would put be, be me in bullet punch range. Yeah, it's really tough, uh, really tough to say. Yeah, hindsight is 2020. We can't can tell now, but at the moment, we, it's harder to really make, oh, make sure. Oh, well, the, there's the duck trail. However, though, scissor looks so strong versus him, man. Okay, what is he gonna. What is this? 
I still don't think it's Stealth Rook, uh, a Trey Gun. But I think I need to keep Weave off with a Glide Score. It's uh, so annoying, so I'll, I'll be U turning around this game. I'll probably be tricking away my Scar from this. On this end. Maybe you could try to, to trick the Glide Score to take the Scarf. I th I th I'm thinking about leading with this guy. Maybe just Sacred Sword into him. Not sure if I really need this. Because if this dies, then he cannot be annoying and <laughs> doubling it on my Jellicent, for example. Yeah. Because if, if, if I have to be dealing with a close combat Berloom, it's, it's going to be super painful. And I think I'm just going to attack him. If, if I die, that's fine. But if he's Sash, then it's easier to switch into him. Oh, is, is it Poison Eel? Oh, it is. Okay. So are you physical or something? Okay, if it is Poison Heal, it's actually still annoying for me. <laughs> However, it's not Technician boosted. Which... Poison Heal means he might not have Spore, though. So uh, Maxi is going to see the moment I'm gonna. Here. I'm still going to Sacred Sword, even if Glyscore comes in. Yeah. He doesn't know if I'm life or jet. He doesn't know if I'm choiced. So, this is, this is some sort of stall team that. I'm not sure what, uh, what the stall team, uh, what his wink on is. Unless it's in like an offensive balloon. We'll see. Stall drug. I don't know if this is toxic. We'll find out. Would definitely be annoying, but it's U turn, and I always leave on in his face. And he, he doesn't have anything to punish my uh, Mandy Bus either. But it's it's quite tough breaking the Empoli and uh, Glass Core Core. So uh, I'll definitely be looking um, to. Well, this might be toxic. I don't know. Toxic or is gonna go for Skull Burn. If it's toxic, then I would rather him poisoning uh, this. If it's scald, then um, it's completely fine. But because if he if he poisons my mandibus, he gets to spam Steldrock forever against my mandibus. I figure at this point, because I can be wisp right. So, Poison or Berloom seems pretty safe. Still don't know if this is... Um, it's a Gliscor. I don't know if Gliscor is... Um, Gliscor is Protect. What I can do is go into this. Basically give him the idea that I might have Ice Punch, right? Because if he has Protect, he might use it here. To get an edge on me. If he doesn't... If he doesn't have Protect, then he might swap into Star Me or something. Scout for my attack. He'll definitely be thinking here. So let's see. Earthquake. Okay. So this makes me think that he might have might have roost. Was it leftovers on Polyon, by the way? We, we didn't touch it, right? So what do you think? Is it, is it gonna be Trick uh, Gliscor? Uh, it's gonna be Protect Gliscor? 
him clicking Earthquake there was really interesting there. When I could have killed him with Ice Punch, potentially. So next... Do you think it's bad if I trick the poison orb on, on myself? Let's see. It seems my boy Lazarus just went away. <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't. I was. I had to <laughs> talk something, and I got. I muted myself. But yeah, I think that his team is, is pretty slow. So scarf is gonna. It's gonna not really be that useful, you know. Yeah. Alright. If I get if I trick the Glasgow, I will have a poison orb uh, on me. I wonder if this is sub punch. Quite, uh, yeah, I think it's a punch. Yeah, definitely. That's a, it's a, uh, a sign. Yeah, that's it. Maybe we could try to go for the for the rocks doesn't really do much right she has empoleon yeah nah, could try go for a, a, maybe a potential toxic on a hydrogen switch nah i think glyscore always comes because he has u-turn right and he's gonna stealth rock i think mm. for for his sake glyscore is probably like the safest bet for him i think i i gotta i'm gonna go a bit aggressive here it's a rocks, it's a U-turn opportunity for him. But since he didn't protect on me last time, I'm gonna try to give it him here. Oh, nice. That's really good. Yeah, I, I will have a poison orb on myself, but... By the way, if he clicks rocks here... Oh, okay. So it's gonna be... Quick. Get poisoned here. Um... He might try to switch on. Yeah, I think I think I think that he would as well. But does he lose anything from clicking earthquake? I feel like he always he switches doesn't. for free. So yeah, he doesn't. And he doesn't know that I've shooting yet, right? Or does he? Um, no, he doesn't. Okay. So if we, I get in this, I think now it's time to play around, right? He's really not keen staying with Odin. So U-turn, earthquake, yeah, uh, stealth rocks, right? And something yeah, else. yeah, it's uh, 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 probably bruised or something. Do you think you're faster than in Napoleon? No, no, no. But I I've been making the Jettison play all the time. Let's see if he gets in Berlum at one point. Skulls. Maybe not bad if he burns me. Get in this again. I 
He's making a Gliscor play. Yeah, he's constantly he's, he's constantly tweaking Gliscor here. What I'm looking for is basically trying to weaken him. Like I, I'm thinking about pursuing this guy, because the moment I get that pursuit damage off as he switches right, I can get a lot of value. Because right now I feel like I keep doing this. F2 is all we heal in the buzz anyways. But... Okay, what I'm doing then is I'm going to U-turn there. Basically trying to keep the damage on him, but he, what he can do is also Earthquake at a certain point. If you try to get Galade, don't have mind. Galade yeah, if, if, if I get Galade in, it's always going to be... Like, um, or I get I go Garch on Earthquake, get Recovery. Yeah, I think I think Garchomp is fine. Galate comes in. With... If uh, Gliscor comes in, it's gonna be like rock trading or whatever. Doesn't he have to switch now? Like, he's he's locked, right? Yeah. So, okay. Like, can I click Earthquake here? I think you click Toxic in case he goes high Dragon. Yeah. The thing is, as Bloom, Starmie could come be coming in on me. Nate, Starmie gets chip. We don't know if he's defensive or not. I think Toxic is like the safe play since he's locked, anyways. I haven't revealed the moves yet, so I can't click it. He might not know. Let's see if he's leftovers. Yes. Can we get Rush of 2 have a FHP, which is pretty good? He's gonna be natural cure for sure. I think I don't want him doubling into Berlum here, but I can maybe I can remove this guy from the equation or something. Yeah, it is Thunderbolt. I did a lot. He's, I think that's life. No, that's not life. That's analytic. It's, it's analytic. Yeah. Okay. I think he's gonna go Empoleon, so we, you don't, he doesn't die to Revile. Yeah, maybe. Maybe maybe he just decides to kill me, but Analytic means he stays poisoned. He could get greedy too and go for the Ice Beam, trying to predict the uh, Garchomp, even though it makes no sense to go Garchomp here. Couldn't, oh, couldn't he have done this sooner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the issue is always doing a trio, right? I have Stealth Rock up, so even if he tries to trap me, he's still gonna he die. He dies to proceed. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure he dies. It's like one of the worst defenses. But I think he's gonna go Breloom instead. <clears throat> yeah, Breloom is pretty safe. I'm just gonna sack my Gallade. If Babylon comes in. But if it's sub, it's most likely Spore too. What if he tries to sub on you? Um, and then you can get chip with. Yeah, if it's, it's the thing, I'm gonna go Berlo I'm gonna go Galate if he subs with Berlum. Then I break the sub. I just don't have a switch for Skull anymore on Empoleon. Because this instead. 
I think we still sick him because anybody's gonna get to it KO'd. Yeah, he does for the rocks. Life warp. They're gonna kill my many buzz. Maybe you can go. Can do, go with Vine for a double. Oh, Seconds. Um, bomb. Pretty good. Okay, life warp. Maybe roost too. Yeah, it's a tough team to face. It's it. 25, yeah, it's actually has a high chance of knocking me out. I only got one option because I already revealed all my moves on Garchomp. I do need to make something happen now. You yeah, gotta push forward. Ah, see, fuck. Yeah. Okay. I think I lost. I think the, the thought process behind it was. Um, you going Gliscor? Gliscor, chipping him low enough because he cannot heal right. And then uh, doing all the shit. Maybe he burns me here, Dom. Oh, that's... That is not bad. Ones. I can actually roost on him. Definitely roost here. You really need the HP on any of us. Yeah. I'm just looking... Are we, are we defogging later here? Since he's <laughs> locked right on... Because I can basically force the same situation um, later if I defog. There's no preventing the, um, the toxic anymore. From Empoleon. I think we just defog on his ass. And then get a slow U-turn into Scissor. But it's quite risky on his part of staying in with Empoleon. Because he, di he didn't need to make that play. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> for some random reason I click close combat. This dies and I win. literally win the game with Weavile. <laughs> Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, he just gave me an opportunity to kill that guy, which is so in insane to me. But yeah, I assume this is Defog uh, Empoleon, so since I'm slower, I will always get a slow U-turn off. I think I'm just gonna set up the same situation there. Like if he lets me earthquake this, I I kill this, I and my Weevil almost likely wins its life for uh, this. Nice. See, see, like this guy doesn't understand wind conditions or something. Like maybe yeah, he thought I didn't have flame. T uh, maybe he thought I didn't have earthquake. No, I showed Earthquake before. Yeah, I don't, I don't get this, like, overpredict, like, that had no reason to happen. Because, like, we Vile just shits on the rest of the team. Because so it's not, it's most likely not Mock Punch per Loom, and I, I just get to click Icicle Spare for free now. He just gave away a free win, pretty much. Uh, even if you don't get, like, to quote-unquote click Icicle, uh, Icicle Spear for free, you still have Ice Shard to, to get Glyscore. Let's see. What do you think about just going for rocks here? Like, do I need this at this point? I'm faster than them. Break a sash, then we can really just use the ice yeah. shard, right? Yeah, I think we go get we go for rocks here, 100. percent Because then he can't he can't trap you with the victory anymore. Because that, that Berloom has to be max attack, right? That, yeah. He did he did he did so much to my uh with my to my guard chomp. Yeah, it is 70, 76, I think. 
And e even if even Scizor with Bullet Punch is gonna do a lot, so I feel like if I just get up rocks, yeah, this it's is likely a, a win, right? Yeah. Yeah, here, so you, we, get, you, yeah, here you get to click. Yeah, Asgore we just sp we spare, but we have to keep in mind that Gliscor is uh, scarfed. Yeah, yeah. So um, if Gliscor comes in on me, we uh, go Mandibus. The good part about too about the the scarf on the scarf on Gliscor is that we have like Mandibus now we can click foul play pretty much safely. Yeah, but we we are poisoned, so it's not gonna do too much. But he has to go Gliscor here. Might he might throw off a U-turn, but from, at this point, I feel like I I. Sh I think I always. Oh. So what does he what does he have? Does he have Mach Punch? I can go Hard Scissor if 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 it is, if he's subbing for 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 some random reason. Yeah, I think you go. I think you go Scissor. But the thing is, I, I don't know if I kill Gliscor part. with Ice Shard yeah. though, because he might yeah. be impish. This is a really interesting situation because he hasn't revealed Spore or anything. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll just. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, so he's just this. That's fine. Yeah, he just bluffed. Focus Punch. I should be a bit bulkier than Garchomp. So let's see. If I die here. Oh, this is this is bad. <laughs> I thought we go go for the foul play. Yeah, yeah, I was I was like, oh yeah, he's focus punch. Ah fuck. I need to get three hits now. Yeah. Um that's stupid. I need to get three hits. Fuck, I actually threw this. But, yeah. He was he was obviously bluffing there, but if he did have randomly mock punch, then I would also lose. Uh, whatever. Let's see. If, if we get three hits, I think we still win. Yeah. And I still have Mandibus healthy as well. So I can now just uh, ball play, basically, if Ductro comes in. Hey, where is he going? Ducktrail. Do Sucker Scarf, Punch me? Scarf Ducktrail. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is bluffing hard, bro. He would have done it. He would have done it the other time. If that was the case, right? Dude, just do it. Like, there's no way he's Scarf, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, bro. However, now I will make the Mandy Bus play, and I'm just gonna foul play. Yeah, you just fall, you just spam foul play, if you like. Foul play till we die. Yeah. And then yeah. I get him weave out and click Ice Shard. So I could have almost lost that. Stupid. So I guess I should have gone with the initial thing. And when I was going Heart Scissor. I think Cave Rafford to like Roost once. Yeah, but I think I'm Roosting maybe, once. Uh, no, no, we Roost once and we Foul Play. It's gonna. It's, I think that's okay. most efficient. Because we're gonna be around full. Yeah, and then you're gonna slowly get chipped, but not enough to. Yeah, he he did it to himself because he could have easily won this game if he just let, kept Empoleon alive. But he wanted to be smart. Yeah. I think it's. I I also don't think I die to U-turn with we've all. I don't think we died uh, to you turn. It could it could always always calc ice shard. Yeah, but th th there's no there's no point because even if I live, then I still click ice shard because um, it's gonna be the same thing basically. Oh good! This was a, this was a really timely death because he didn't give uh, an extra yeah. turn to heal. 
Fiki Sash. I tried it. It's fucking Focus Sash. More times. Yeah, but if, oh. e e e even if I don't kill, bro. Um, it it's the same thing, because he's gonna go before me anyway. Oh, he, do he did kill me. Okay. Uh. That was a really interesting match. Yeah, pretty close. But he did it himself. Um, I still feel like I needed the Choice Scarf on the Glide score, uh, just because uh, of the reason you saw, because it was really yeah, tough was beating right. that. Yeah, it was right. It was the right play, the Choice Scarf. The play that lost us the game was uh, over, over, over predicting on the Brawl. Yeah, m maybe maybe that game I I didn't need to go for rocks, maybe, uh, with Garchomp, and I could have gone Mandibus instead, so I actually kept Garchomp alive instead, which... In, in hindsight, would have probably been better against the Breloom. Um, if we, we uh, let go of, If we went um, Mandy Buzz on the Hydreigon instead. Plus, I don't think he would have 2 it killed me from the HP I was at. So I was would have been able to U-turn. And then I still had a pretty healthy Garchomp alive, which can cl still click rocks on his Gliscor, on his Breloom, on his Ductrial. I think, that I think we had to play that differently. But, yeah, on the other hand... Um, me switching out against the Bloom was very unlikely that it was Mach Punch. <laughs> but I don't know. What if he yeah, randomly it, was running the Mach Punch? That would have been bad too. Yeah, like I don't think it was how oh, like impossible because he, his team was low on priority. So yeah. he kinda needed to have it for to deal with yeah. some like scarf threat or something like that. Yeah, and besides I didn't think I would get so far, but he just gave me Empoleon on two occasions. He let it in versus uh Scissor, and he let it in on an earthquake, which was uh, quite questionable. Could have definitely won that game, but yeah, me losing that scissor there, like it's just like, uh because obviously if, if I had at that guy, so I also wasn't sure how much speed he was running, but that had to be max defense, uh, glide score, had to be. But if I go back to the cog as well. Then I'm pretty sure that was like impish. It had to be like impish. So uh, yeah, that 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 shit was impish. Like max defense. But if that was the case, then I might have been faster. But yeah, it it was hard to tell. I felt like I needed the ice shard. And the U-turn surprisingly killed me, but didn't feel even though it was super effective. Uh, it was a it was a bit of a roll, but even if he got the lowest roll, it was still close. Nah, the U-turn was a kill on me. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna end it up at that one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, check out the team on Patreon. That's gonna be it. See you guys next time.